Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to episode 2 of Megalobox. Now, you guys in the comments have really kind of made me want to watch this series even more. Because someone even compared it to Cowboy Bebop, which I saw the similarities and I wanted to see if anyone could pick it up. And a couple people actually did pick it up and they were like, yo, this series actually is a lot like Cowboy Bebop, so if you love that, you're gonna love this. And I can't wait to get into this series. I'm loving the music, I'm loving the action, I'm loving the story. But, in the last episode, we had our main character. Basically, we were learning about the situation he was in. He lives in kind of a poor area, he doesn't have a citizenship, and there's this event coming up called the Megalomania? Megalomania is what it's called, where all the biggest, baddest Megalo boxers are coming together to clash in the ring and figure out who's number one. And the current number one boxer we actually ended up bumping into, but unfortunately we couldn't fight him because uh his manager or whatever their relationship is she told him no and so we figured out that the main character is in a pretty crappy situation where he has to downplay himself like he's actually very talented but he has to pretend he has to use his talents in the beginning kind of show the people you know he's actually pretty freaking dope get everybody to like change your votes change your votes everybody vote for him right now and then once they place their votes then he drops the game so that his coach or his owner whatever it is not his owner that sounds bad his coach can vote for the other guy and then reap in all that money from him throwing the fight so it's it's pretty scummy but if he doesn't do that, then apparently he won't be in the ring at all. And now, Yuri, the number one boxer, has come into the ring, into the underground ring, to fight the main character. And this time, his coach was like, hey, get out of the ring, you don't know, you're not fighting him right now. And he's like, shut up, old man. And he just shoves him aside, and he's like, this is my time to shine. I'm going against a real Megalo boxer, and I wouldn't give this up for anything. So if you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice of Shonen content. But with that being said, let's get right into this action. Yeah, look at his face. He's in complete shock. Yuri versus the main character. Junk Dog, that's his name. Let's go. Everybody's placing their bets, buying tickets. He got rid of the communication device. This is just, it's just him in the ring right now. No outside influences. Let me turn this up a bit, actually. Ooh. Tonight's a special occasion. Maybe I should actually turn it back down a bit. I don't want to blow my eardrums once the action starts. Look at the difference in their gear, man. The junk dog's gear kind of looks like makeshift, and this guy, he's got some futuristic alien gear. <laughs> they don't make tombstones for stray dogs, dude. That's such a hard quote. Alright, it's going in. Ooh, the animation is so smooth. Oh. Dang, that caught him off guard. Dude, I love this art style. Holy crap, when you see them up close. It's a hell of a jab. Oh, dang. Nicked him good. And it looked like it was too fast for him to watch. Oh, dang! He's not using his right hand? Oh, man, is he trying to disrespect my boy? That's the champion for you. He's gonna make him use that hand, dude. Dude, he's so calm, too. Oh! 
This dude is no pushover. Oh, he broke his guard. He's going in. What? Oh, everything looked like it was going so well. And he knocked him down. Isn't it like three knockdowns and you're out? Or if you get knocked down and can't get up before the timer, you lose. Yep. Now when you're having this much fun. Yep. That's my boy. And then we get right into the intro. Hmm. What was that all about? <laughs> was that a- Oh, I think that was a part of the intro. Look at him! So smooth! It's like effortless for him. Ooh! Oh! You saw that? He made him use it! Yep, he made him use it and he wanted to. He saw his body was open and then his like his arm flinched, dude. He wanted to get that that uh Oh man, he wanted to get that body shot off so bad, but he said he was only gonna use his left and that threw him off. Real Megalo Boxing. Let's go. Number one versus the bottom of the food chain. The underdog. Alright, he's going in. Ooh, is he baiting him? Oh no, he's probably reading him. Oh, he definitely did. Dang! Oh man, knocked the spit out of his mouth, dude. Holy crap, one punch. Dang, that's a second knockdown. I mean, the rules might be different in Megalo boxing, but holy crap! You gotta get back up, man. Holy crap! And he knows he won't be able to stand. Look at his face. Was that just blood? Oh my! Holy crap! One round KO. Looks like Junk Dog bit a bit more than he could chew. Ooh. He got back up though. And he's calling him out. So much for not getting back up, huh, buddy? <laughs> not impressed! <laughs> Couldn't even manage to kill a stray dog. <laughs> what are you gonna say to that, Yuri? <laughs> Ooh, he's starting to get under his skin a bit. Meet him in Megalomania! Yup, you gotta fight your way up to the top. Yeah, that's just- that's how it's gotta go. Man. He's cruising on the cycle through the desert again. Yeah, he's probably mad about how that ended, though. I know he definitely didn't want to get knocked out that bad. Dang, he's living nice. He's got his nice little bachelor pad. 
And there she is. <laughs> oh man. So she's his owner. Uh, I'm guessing that's just like... I don't know. That's just a different way of calling her a manager. Ooh, she caught him. Looks like Yuri's going in timeout. Oh, wow. So he is supposed to be like the representative of the company that made his gear. Megalobox round two. The man only dies once. Dude, I love this style, man. Look at this. This is like some Jet Set Radio stuff right here. This is my jam. Okay! Mm. They're riding this beat. Oh, is this one? Is that him when he's younger? Yep, this is before the fro. If you can even call it that, I guess. He wants to fight Yuri again. Megalonia, that's what it is, not Megalomania. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, what this guy is saying, parts of it I agree with, but I don't like this guy, so I'm not going to say I agree with him. Citizen ID. Well then help him get one, man. This is more than just you making money, dude. You can be the one responsible for helping this kid. Well, I guess he's not really a kid. But you can be the one responsible for helping him reach the top. Follow his dreams. Be the best. You know it's never gonna be the same, man. He can't just go right back to this little scheme that you were pulling before after having an actual real fight like that. He wants to experience it again. Here's today's opening match. Ooh, he's not listening. Oh, he doesn't have it in. He's about to do this his own way. He's gonna whoop everybody and show that he's gonna be number one. Oh! Is that a knockout? Uh, he's trying to prove a point. He wants to be the best. He's not trying to play your games. And this guy's back. This guy can make it happen. This guy has what it takes to get him the citizenship. Wait, what the heck? What is going on? What is... Are they being tortured? Oh, this is his higher ups. Dang, that's a nice tat. Ooh, he's got some ice too? <laughs> he doesn't want to end up like that guy in the other room. This dude is like a mafia boss. <laughs> okay, so this is where the money goes to that he gets from scheming all those people. 
見の方はつけてもらう。Oh, snap! あんたのその。Holy crap! メンタマでな。So did they take his first eye? あ,あいつは。稼いでもらうさ。俺のリングでな。うわ。俺を。あいつのリング。うわ。本気で俺とやり合いたければ。上がってこい。俺のリングにな。あいつのリング。そうさ。相棒が立つのはあんたのリングじゃねえ。こいつの優勝賞金で全部の片付けてやるよ。So it took all of this to convince you. He should have thought of this sooner, man. This kid's got a dream. To go up there and beat the best, and you can make so much more money <laughs> taking out the top of the food chain <laughs> than sitting down here gambling with bottom <laughs> feeders. <laughs> Only have three months. Training begins now. We gotta grind harder than we ever did before. It is time. Ooh, I like that. Not losing until I get my hands on Yuri again. Okay, respectable. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Alright, you gotta respect that. Oh! Wait, so the guy that they were beating up in here the other day, or earlier today, did they, they said, like, they killed him, chopped him up, they're selling his organs, and are they giving him his old identity? So this is how he's getting his citizenship. Joe. His name is Joe. 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 Yeah. Oh! I get it! The billboard! When he was rolling past the billboard as a kid, it said Average Joe on there. Holy crap. I don't remember the exact quote, but all I remember is I think it said, like, Not Your Average Joe in the second half. And that's where he got his name from. Alright, well this episode was pretty clean, man. We got to get a little scuffle, get into a little scuffle with Yuri. He ended up whooping us, literally sitting us on our ass. We couldn't do anything about that. That was pretty crazy. And then he didn't want a uh, rematch because, of course, he thought we weren't worth his time. We were, you know, talking stuff to him on the bridge, so he wanted to see what we were made of. And then after he knocked us out so easily, then he was like... No, you're not worth my time. So now we gotta show him that we actually are worth his time. And that we can give him a challenge. We just gotta work our way up the ranks. So we're Joe now. We're not Junk Dog anymore. We're Joe. I think Junk Dog might still be a stage name, but on our citizenship, we are Joe now. I wonder if I'm actually right about that being where his name came from. Because that'd be really cool, man. You saw that billboard. It said something like the most beautiful district or whatever and then under that i think it said like not your average joe and i think that's why he chose to put joe in his name because he's not your average joe so that's that's a really cool connection that they made there and so far i'm really liking the series i can't wait to see what kind of hands we'll be serving in the future so if you guys are excited for more episodes in the future make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slicer Shonen content. But with that being said, I'm going to head out, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.